So guys, this is one of those updates that shows Tesla is thinking ahead about real world ownership, not just about flashy feature, it's not about massive UI redesigns, but it solves a problem that most owners didn't even know that they were dealing with. This one goes straight to the core of full self-driving performance, the visibility for the front facing camera and what Tesla is prepared to do for owners moving forward if they are experienced any of these issues. Earlier this year, Tesla had made significant upgrades to the notification system, now alerting owners about blocked or dirty cameras and how to make it better. Drivers are now alerted when the cameras are obstructed by dirt or debris with a notification that provides more details on what to do. The new notification, which reads camera visibility limited, clean all dirt and debris from camera, now also has a view button and by tapping this option, drivers are taken to a new camera status display, which points out exactly which camera has been affected and what to do to improve its visibility. What's great about this feature is that now it clearly shows exactly which camera is affected with a message just below that to explain what to do and how to proceed if it doesn't get resolved. In addition to this, they have made it extremely easy to visualize where the dirt and debris is by giving a live preview on both screens making it much easier to see which camera is affected and how it looks before and after. Now, with all of this assistive software feature, it has been really fantastic in keeping the cameras clean, but it just comes to a point where manually resolving the issue is just not possible. So with that, Tesla has realized this and through the latest software update, Vehicles are now automatically detecting when the forward camera visibility becomes limited and trigger a new camera visibility alert. This extreme problem typically comes from a hazy cloud-like film caused by interior plastic trims that gradually settle inside of the windshield around the camera enclosure. The cameras are especially affected when driving into direct sunlight, heavy weather, or oncoming headlights at night, reducing remaining contrast where the camera needs to read road properly. While the haze itself is hard to see normally, a flashlight at a certain angle usually reveals the cloud layer of film. Until this update, owners had to detect the issue and request cleaning themselves, which caused many full self-driving cars to run with partially obstructed vision without the driver ever realizing. With this new update, however, new detection triggers, the vehicle will automatically offer a free camera cleaning through the Tesla app. Owners can now schedule at their own convenience at their local Tesla service center, and in some regions may qualify for a Tesla Ranger visit where technicians will come directly to the owner. Normally, the cleaning is a paid service that ranges between $60 and $85 depending on model, but now has become completely free through this software update. This issue has been internally acknowledged and that major engineering focus is being put on. Elon states that the windshield camera design is something that Tesla is actively planning to redesign for future vehicles to prevent this issue from ever happening again. All right guys, so this is exactly the kind of behind the scene upgrades and improvements that most of the time get overlooked, but really shows what and how Tesla is thinking. They're not only just adding one more setting or some new notification, they are now directly fixing an issue that affects the full self-driving safety and performance. There are probably hundreds if not thousands of little points that stands between autonomy working 99% of the time versus 100% of the time. And this camera issue, this haziness behind the lens is one of the biggest driving factor as to why FSD would fail. And instead of waiting for those failures and complaints, Tesla is now detecting and automatically covering the fix for free. This is a huge shift in attitude towards full self-driving across the entire fleet. This is fantastic news for all owners. Now, in other news, Tesla has just recently started rolling out new visualizations in the in-car display. Previously spotted by Green the Only, Full Self Driving and Autopilot is finally getting some new and long-awaited visual upgrades. Found deep within the codes of the latest 2025.38 software update lies a handful of new visualization assets. The latest update introduces a wide range of new and more detailed vehicle visualizations, giving drivers a clear understanding of what their Tesla's camera and neural networks are detecting in real time. The expanded visuals include a variety of everyday specialized vehicles, including everything from ambulances, fire trucks, school buses to garbage trucks, street sweepers, golf carts, scooters, skateboards, strollers, and even trains and trams. Tesla has also refined the system to display European-style semi-trucks, 
Along with new models for three wheel trailers and wheelchairs, this suggests that update is being prepared for both autopilot and full self-driving even though full self-driving isn't yet officially available in Europe. These new objects are now visible on customer vehicles without requiring a software update, download prompts, or patch notes. Tesla activated them remotely using server-side configurations. Drivers are now reporting up to 15 new vehicle visualization models, covering a wide range of additional objects, including animals and child strollers. These new visualizations help drivers better understand what full self-driving is detecting in real time and how it's planning to handle nearby vehicles. Many owners assume these visualizations were meant only for V14 of full self-driving, but Tesla has flipped the switch early and activated them remotely on V13 as well. As this point update is part of an earlier release, it has been reported that some vehicles are mislabeling items Forklifts, smart cars, and other small vehicles sometimes appears as golf carts. When a mislabeled vehicle is logged, the car uploads those images and Tesla uses them to refine classification and accuracy. It is still unclear whether new visuals will work on older hardware like Hardware 3 or Intel processors, but because these assets are relatively simple, there's a good chance they'll arrive with FSD V14 Lite for Hardware 3 vehicles. So there we have it guys, Tesla is quietly improving the foundation of full self-driving both on the physical side and the software experience. The new camera visibility detection feature now ensures that the car is operating with a perfectly clear field of view and the fact that Tesla is covering this free of charge shows how committed they are in maximizing the safety and the accuracy of the entire fleet. And at the same time, they are adding richer and more meaningful real world visualization so drivers can better understand what full self-driving sees and how it'll react. This ties in perfectly with the cameras being clean because if it's dirty, the car wouldn't be able to see all those objects. So both of these things are perfectly in line with each other. Now, personally here, none of these updates are flashing enough for the average person to really notice or celebrate, but together they show exactly what Tesla is headed and where they are going with full self-driving and unsupervised robo-taxis. For sure, this is a small update on paper, but it's a huge step towards unsupervised and everything just works everywhere and for everyone. If you're experiencing any of these issues, wait for the latest update 14.1.7 or anything after that. That is when the screen will prompt you if it detects anything abnormal with the camera, and that's when you can go in for your free camera cleaning service. Anyways, that pretty much wraps it up. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will continue to keep a very, very close eye out for anything new that comes out and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on X at Hey John E. Over there, you guys will see things you wouldn't see over here, and you can chat with me freely anytime I respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this is it. This is John once again. Peace out.